The state of Pennsylvania is investigating the sexual abuse of children by priests in six Catholic dioceses. With the grand jury report due out soon, the Diocese of Harrisburg today identified 71 priests and others among the accused and said bishops who led the church will be held accountable. Details on this from Nikki Batiste. I express profound sorrow and I apologize to the survivors of child sex abuse. Harrisburg Bishop Catholic Ronald Gaynor's apology today to comes as the Catholic Church is once again under fire. We take seriously both my and the diocese's obligation to prevent such abuse from occurring. The bishop publicly released the names of 71 clergy accused of sexually abusing minors in the Harrisburg Diocese going back to 1940. Most of the accused are dead or no longer in ministry. This move comes just days before the anticipated release of a grand jury investigation expected to name more than 300 priests accused of being sexual predators in six of the Pennsylvania's eight Catholic dioceses. 66-year-old Sharon Tell um, says she told the grand jury she was first hope. sexually abused us, by Monsignor James McHale, her family's priest, when she was 12, and it continued for 20 years. I was just a happy-go-lucky kid, and all of a sudden he started laying down with me at night. It started off with just touching and went to intercourse. Like many other victims, Tell's case fell out of the state's statute of limitations. But some say this grand jury report will give their stories of abuse validation. What does this grand jury report mean to you? It means everything. Um, I went and testified in front of the grand jury. So there was 30 people sitting in front of me. Um, I testified for like two hours. And... Um, they believed me. There have been two arrests so far. Yesterday, one priest pled guilty. The other is awaiting trial this fall on criminal charges. But most of these cases fall outside of Pennsylvania's statute of limitations. Jeff. Great interview, Nikki Batiste. Thank you.